At 1.15 a.m. on April 18, 1955, one of the greatest scientific geniuses of the 20th century, Albert Einstein, passed away. In his 76 years of life, Einstein made monumental contributions to human scientific endeavors. He overturned Newton's concept of absolute space and time, fundamentally reshaping humanity's understanding of space and time. Over his lifetime, Einstein pioneered four significant fields of physics special relativity, general relativity, cosmology, and the pursuit of a unified field theory, laying the foundation for a new framework of physics and elevating classical physics into a more comprehensive system. Despite his extraordinary achievements, even a genius like Einstein could not escape the laws of nature, birth, aging, illness, and death. Einstein passed away at Princeton Hospital in the United States. According to his will, he wished for no funeral to be held after his death. Instead, he requested that his body be cremated and his ashes scattered in an unknown location. However, Einstein's brain was secretly taken. The man who stole his brain was Thomas Harvey, a pathologist at Princeton Hospital and the doctor responsible for examining Einstein's body. As an admirer of Einstein, Harvey believed that Einstein's profound grasp of the laws of the physical world his exceptional logical reasoning and extraordinary imagination were unparalleled. During his scientific pursuits, Einstein often relied on thought experiments, conducting experiments entirely in his mind and drawing conclusions purely from imagination. Harvey hypothesized that Einstein's brain must be physiologically different from an ordinary person's brain. Driven by this curiosity and without obtaining permission from Einstein's family, Harvey removed Einstein's brain and took it back to his laboratory. Thus, Einstein's brain was stolen.